usually hire us because we can provide services from the very beginning of a project, concept designing, even site location, to the very end, interior design and staging, as you will see in this home. My name is Kathy Purple Cherry. I am the principal of an architecture firm that is located in Annapolis, Charlottesville, Middleburg, and the Greenbrier. We focus primarily on high-end residential work. That is really our passion. We also do um, some, a lot of special needs work, nonprofit work, which is important to me. We are located at a magnificent property of a client for a home that we completed approximately a year ago. It is located on the eastern shore of Maryland on the Chester River. We are technically in Centerville. We're sitting on approximately 150 acres of agricultural land. There are nine buildings that are located on the property, um, including the main house. Uh, the buildings consist of the guest house that we're sitting in at this moment, the party barn that is through the window opposite. It is used actually for events, catering events, weddings, fundraisers, gameplay, basketball, any kind of um, fun thing. In that same courtyard behind me, there are two other buildings, a three-car detached garage. There is a long breezeway that links it over to the main house. On the opposite side is the carriage house, which has the gators, the potting area for plants, and the hunt room, because there is a shooting range here on the property. As well, there is a fantastic pool house. It's double-sided, double-pocketed door opens up with this incredible vaulted, shafted, clear story um, piece. The last structure is a pottery studio. It's used for creating arts and having brainstorming meetings and sleeping as well because there are sleeping lofts above it. It's like going away to camp. So the guest house obviously was intended to be small, for which it is. It feels bigger than it is, but it's approximately 2,500 square feet. We are currently in the foyer of the guest house. What I love about this space actually are a couple of things. I love a lot of things. The gray brick floor, this is a product that you can get in multiple different colors and you can also get in multiple different variations of distressing. The railing is actually an open tread um, with three inch solid wood treads. The reason that I wanted them to be open, this was my ask to the client, is again because I'm always looking to connect to the view and I'm always looking to bring natural light into my homes. So by doing that open rise, it allows, especially during the day when the sunlight is pouring in, for that sun to move all the way down to the lower basement level. The fun part about this also is that the railing is comprised of boat rope and these cleats are specifically Hinkley boat cleats. And if any of you all know Hinkley boats, it's one of the finest motor yachts made. When you're designing a full-on kitchen in a guest house, really how it develops is obviously totally dependent upon the architectural style and it's how whether it's urban or it's suburban or it's country it morphs in different ways in this particular case the the kitchen is obviously in a three-sided glass room with views all around us and that automatically places a lot of the appliances below the counter so if you notice you're not seeing a single vertical appliance in this space the refrigerator are drawers so i have no tower there is no wall oven obviously just the freestanding oven you're seeing a beautiful hardwood countertop these get sealed so that they can be durable and be used I love these lights. These were actually built, bought down at High Point in the antique wing. They are from a German warehouse. We just simply brought them back and hung them up. The table is a zinc table that was custom built and the legs are industrial legs that were then attached to that zinc top. The 
This is the living room, approximately a 15 by 15 space. The fireplace, gas fireplace, it connects to the outside sitting screen porch area. It has a beautiful wet bar with floating glass shelves. getting ready to enter the primary sleeping room. The bed faces a magnificent view, but as I enter into that room, I didn't want the bed to be tucked in under the sides. I wanted to maintain that view. So again, you're seeing the application of interior windows. This is a freestanding uh, bed wall that has the glass to get that view and you walk around it and it allows me to place the bed against that bed wall and still keep everything open and airy. This room has a little balcony, obviously charming little space with beautiful patterns in the fabrics, on the chairs, um, in the little sitting areas, built two little built-ins for bookcases. The bathroom, this is where I asked the client if I could actually order, again on first dibs, if I could order an antique medicine cabinet, so that's exactly what it is. These special little things make your home different. This was about $900 on first dibs. Brings a lot of fun into the space. Good example of, again, applying a touch of wallpaper for a little fun in the toilet room. Opposite the main suite in the same footprint are two small little guest bedrooms. And the goal of owners of beach house is how can we have 12 people join us at the beach. So they always want to try to pack eight bedrooms into a 3,000 square foot footprint. So you end up with bedrooms that are nine foot wide and 11 foot long. And so this is a perfect example of a small little guest house. There's no reason that it needs to be bigger than this. There's, you're perfectly comfortable, has a sweet little queen bed in it, sweet little scaled furniture. It's interesting to note that we do very carefully wash the scale of furniture. So for example, the dresser is not your standard 24 inch depth because you wanna make sure that you still have enough floor area to be comfortable. And the chair is the sweetest little chair, almost looks like a child chair, but the truth is it's an incredibly comfortable chair to sit in. We don't go to hotels to experience the inside room. We go to beautiful places to connect to the environment. And I think what's very true about these buildings on this property and actually all of our buildings on our projects is my primary focus is how the rooms engage with the landscape. Thank you.